beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's new makeup releases going on the wishlist or not this is the weekly series on my channel where I talk about all the new makeup releases sneak peeks and announcements and we chat about whether or not we want to pick them up if we want to anti-haul them if we appreciate them from a distance like sometimes you can appreciate that things exist without actually having to own them and if you haven't been here before my name is Angie hello I am a lover of fashion and makeup especially colorful things love color on this channel, but I love everything on this channel. With that been some neutrals as well sometimes. And if you want to see some more color on your timeline, if you want to see some more hauls, tutorials, makeup commentary, do not forget to subscribe because I upload five videos a week. Okay, let's first talk about what's on my eyes and that is the Club Nebula. I'm just quick Quick reminder, this is restocking next week. If you were interested, the restock for this palette is next week. This is the collaboration between Kaleidos and me. I did, I feel like <laughs> I did this. Simba. But I'm just very proud of this and we're having a restock next week. I will put the details down in the description box. This look right here together with a bit of a Q&A about this collab is going to be live next week. I'm aiming for Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. Tuesday next week. This, week, uh, this look is coming. If you're interested in any of the things that I'm talking about during this episode, or if you're interested in what is on my face, I will have all the details in the description box and I will link all the things that's on my face in a pinned comment. All the info is always in the description box or in a pinned comment. Full disc that's not even a disclaimer, it's a description. Let me scoochie scoochie on this very... This chair. This chair is literally on its last leg. Let's scoochie scoochie and we can look at what's new and popping this week. Which, let's be honest, it's not that much. I talked about this... Oh, you haven't seen that video. <laughs> you haven't seen that video yet, but I can talk about it here as well. Just to keep myself accountable. Why do I have 17% in batteries? That is not good when I'm starting to film this. I am, um, I am aiming to make April a low buy month. I, I'm not buying nothing. But I still have so many things that I want to review and since I had the problem with my eye last week I also I'm a little backtracked on reviewing things so I'm trying to make April a low by month Keep me accountable, okay? Keep me accountable Didn't buy anything. I did buy something uh, last week I talked about the BH Cosmetics thing, but I haven't bought anything this week and I'm actually not aiming to Even though there is one thing that I am very much interested in. So maybe we'll save that towards the end Maybe we'll save that one towards the end. Let's talk about something that I think I might be getting in PR. I did talk to the owner of Alien Cosmetics. She is so sweet and she is launching a low light highlighter palette and she's also launching a all I ever wanted eyeshadow palette that is 20 all duochrome palettes. So if you are a lover of all shimmer palettes, which I'm gonna be honest, you know that people are like, oh, I watch the shimmers and it just makes me buy the palette. I'm the opposite. Mattes. Matte's making me buy a palette. Matte is what really intrigues me with makeup. If I'm gonna be totally honest, I like shimmers, I really do. Like, I love this whole situation. But mattes, yeah, mattes, mattes really make my heart sing. And this isn't all shimmer palettes, so it's an all duochrome palette. It isn't necessarily all what I want, but there have been a lot of buzz about all shimmer palettes lately, people just wanting to add really special shades to their collection. And I will say the Alien Cosmetics shimmer formula is so good. So I might get some of these sent to me in PR. I'm not entirely sure. She did send me a PR package that it's on its way to me and we'll play with that as soon as I have it. And she also said that she will be sending me another PR package and I don't know if any of these things are included, but if they are, we will of course be playing with them. I think both of these are available for pre-order right now. Alien Cosmetics is a woman-owned indie brand and I do have a code with Alien Cosmetics. It is Angeshka. Again, info will be in the description box. Let's also, since we're talking about indie brands, let's talk about Makeup by Tammy. This is the Dark Stars Cake Liner Palette. This is nine pan water activated cake liners, including exclusive colors that we don't sell individually. I have tried some of the Makeup by Tammy uh, liquid liners. I thought that they were okay. I did love the one that I chose, but I think I just went in too heavy with it. I'm gonna be totally honest, but I do like cake liners. Cake liners is something I really like, but not during this season. Oh, you should have heard me before this episode started recording. I am deep into allergies. <laughs> Send help. I am such, I'm allergic to the outside. If it's green, I'm allergic to it. 
just going outside i'm gonna walk the dog after this i'm actually filming this before lunch usually usually i walk the dog before this these episodes but i can't because if i go out i'm gonna cry all of this away because i'm so allergic so i can't really do cake liners now because since they're water activated they're also tear activated but i love these colors dark yummy jewel tone colors so pretty i will link them down below this was a very unexpected collab did you expect to see a collab between jen atkins and elf jen atkins is a professional i think she's like a celebrity hair hairstyler is that a thing and she's also the creator of way hair care and they are doing a collab it is lip duos brow pomade some palettes face mist and some liners uh i i i mean i don't hate it. it's vi see this is the thing this is so and I'm saying this basic, and I'm not saying like, oh, neutrals are boring, neutrals... Like, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that there is nothing about this release that Elf couldn't have done on their own. So I'm a little bit confused. This could be, if we're going to be totally honest, this could be that the owners of Wei and the owners of Elf are like friends behind the scene. I mean, who knows? That could be it. I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, they're... Basic. I saw that uh, Samantha Marsh did receive this in PR. I know she tried it and she said that it was some parts were really good and some were like, okay. I I don't think I get it. Because th there's nothing wrong with it. It's just like, how is this special? How did this warrant the collab? But maybe I'm missing something. Please let me know if I'm missing something. There could be something totally obvious that I'm just glossing by. Fenty came up with some new colors in their uh, gloss bomb. This is new shades in the cream formula, which is the one that has uh, no shimmer in it, that has a little bit more color to it. And it is Bubble, Binge, and Cup Caken. I think they're cute. I don't use like pink that much on my lip. I say when I'm actually wearing a pink. But this is more like a warm pink and it's a bit more see-through. But this is Tower 28 in Coconut. I thought that that would be good with a like this teal eye look. I usually don't go for pink when it comes to lipstick, so I don't think that this would have been for me either way. But if you were looking for it, they're sold in a duo. I'm sure if these are popular that they will be sold as singles as well. And I think it's available, so I will link it down below. I don't think it's for me though. Vive, this was a while ago and I forgot to talk about it. These have been available for a bit. These are new eye wands. They're like eyeshadow sticks that can also be used as primers from what I gather from this post. And it goes from light, like a light beige, from brown, brown, brown to a black. They seem like a really good eyeshadow base. They seem to be all matte and this isn't for me. I will say though that it seems like if they are an eyeshadow, they can also be used as a primer. It seems to be the exact same thing as what Sigma's eyeshadow uh, primer sticks are because those could also be used as an eyeshadow on its own. Like you don't need to set them with eyeshadow. They will set in, their, in themselves. These are available at Cult Beauty. I will link them. Maybe you were looking for something like this. Um, personally, not. Because like I said, I use the Sigma sticks for this exact reason. And that is my favorite primer. And they're more affordable. So that's just my personal personal opinion. Rare Beauty is releasing some new things. Rare Beauty is not available to me. I'm pretty sure they're not available to me. And I'm not... If there's really been anything from the brand that I'm like, oh yes, I want that. If I had the opportunity, maybe I'll try something, but I'm not like sad. I'm not sad that I'm not able to buy from it. But they're, but they're releasing a new Discovery eyeshadow palette, Truth to Myself, seven shades with different finishes for $29, which I think is a pretty okay deal. And then there is an Always an Optimist eye primer. This seems like somewhat of a good addition to the brand. I know that some people will hate the different pan sizes in, in the palette, but at least there's not a lot of dead space within it, so I actually don't hate it. The packaging seems cute. And the color story, it's a mix of neutrals and some colors. There are a bit more muted colors, but then there's a hot pink in there. I don't hate it. Is this something that I need, that I would pick up if I could? Not really. I'm kind of liking that it's this price range, even though they're at Sephora, because I feel like it's 
it's mid-range. It's not like high-end, it's more like mid-range. Um, I feel like if, if I go, this, this is, this is where I'm at right now in this panini. It used to be when I get to travel, now it's if. <laughs> the, this is where I'm at in my journey during this panini. Um, if I ever go to, to go to US again, I might pick up something from Rare Beauty. I don't know if it's gonna be this thing, but I didn't hate the release. Here is something that I am super excited I'm so excited and I will be getting some of these in PR and I will be trying them on my channel when I get them. And that is the new Glitch Multichrome Liquid Eyeshadows. These are from Lethal Cosmetics. I talked about the packaging last week and now we know the inside and these are Multichrome Liquid Shadows. They are so cute. I cannot wait to try this formula. I... I like the idea of having special shadows in a liquid formula because if it's a good liquid formula, it is just so easy to work with and so easy to top off your eyeshadows with something like this. They asked me what shades I was interested in and I picked the three lightest shades because I feel like that is something that I will get the most use out of. So that is what I'm going to be trying out, but they all look very cute. And you keep asking me, where can I find multichromes within EU? Here's an option. I will try out the formula and will let you know whether or not I think it's good or not, but I mean, I'm excited. These are gonna range between 21 to 24 euros and they are releasing on the 10th, which is on Saturday. Is that true? Yes, on Saturday. So I will link them down below where you'll be able to get them. I think it's a pretty exciting release. There's another release from a European indie brand that I wanted to talk about and some people were asking me if I was getting this and this is the brand new Manifest Dream Big Palette. It is 35 shades and you already know that I'm out in seven sickening formulas. Ooh, is that a word that we can leave in 2020? Please and thank you. But it is 19 mattes, six pressed pigments, five super sparkle shadows. It doesn't seem to be pressed glitters. I'm guessing more of a sparkly sparkly finish, two duochromes, is it one matte cream shadow base? Is there a cream shadow base? Okay, one shimmer cream shadow base and one shimmer gloss shadow topper. It seems to be some cream to powder formulas in here. Uh, I'm guessing they're gonna dry down a little bit. I'm guessing the bases you might need to set. I don't hate that. If I'm gonna be totally honest, I know that some people hate to have some cream formulas in, in, in shadow palettes like this. I don't hate it, as long as it works with the formulas that are in the palette and that it makes sense. Then I actually, I don't hate it, especially if it's a cream to powder formula, like the gel to powder formula that Natasha Denona has in her palettes, which is, according to me, her best formula. Um, then I don't mind it at all. This is available. It is 29.99 uh, British pounds. And I will link it down below. Here's the thing. This is too big and there are too many neutral shades for me to be interested. I like that they're doing different. Listen, I am the queen of wanting different formulas in a palette. If this had been 15 shades, I would have been down. But 35 is just too many. I don't need that. I don't want that. Had this been smaller, I would have picked it up. But I told you when I reviewed the, what's its face? The Carnival? Tahiti Carnival, you know, the one that came out last year, love the formula. And I said, now I know that I love the formula, but I won't buy another of these big palettes. And I'm gonna stay true to that, because I know that in my heart, I don't reach for big palettes like this. Even if I love the formula, when they're big like this, I just don't reach for them. I don't want it to be this big. <laughs> That's not what she said, but... When it comes to palettes, I just, it's not for me. I know there are people out there that love that. I'm just not that bitch, <laughs> not that person. Who's out here wanting to collaborate with SpongeBob everywhere? It's, there are so many things that we can collab with. Does every brand have to collab with the same things? Because now we're getting the Wet n Wild SpongeBob collection. I, I just do not know if we needed this again. Who asked for another brand to collab with, with 
Spongebob. Or maybe you did. I don't know. I don't know if this is coming to Europe. I honestly don't really care. Uh, this isn't for me. Although I will say the different... Uh, this collection is an eyeshadow palette. Uh, it is a highlighter. It is a sponge cleaner, which I think is so cute to include because there's also a bunch of sponges. Different sizes, different forms, <laughs> and different colors. I like that. This, this, it's called Nautical Nonsense, and I'm not gonna say that it sums it up, but I don't hate it, but at the same time, there are so many cool franchises that a brand could be collabing with. Do they all have to be collabing with the same one? Asking for a friend. Huda Beauty came out with some new lip products, and these are already available. I've seen them at Cult Beauty. It seems to be lipsticks and lip liners. It is a Power Bullet Cream Glow lipstick. I'm pretty sure that they were only uh, matte from before. And then there is the Lip Contour Lip Liner. Pretty sure she had lip liners from before, but maybe this is a new formula. I love lip liners. Listen, I love lip liners. I wear lip liners almost every day. I just think that it's the best thing ever. I never wear a lip formula without a lip liner unless it is a liquid lipstick that I don't have a matching lip liner for. Other than that, always, because I love a lip liner. I really, really do. I think that these look really cute. It seems to be a more pinky group of color and a more browny group of color. I love brown lipsticks. I am not in the market for new lipsticks right now. Who is at this point? Who is? But I still love nudes. I really... That's what he said. I still love nudes and I love lip liners. So I'm not saying never to this. I'm just saying not now. Not now, but in the future, if I'm looking to try something new, this might be it. I wanted to talk about this because I never talk about Buxom, but Buxom is coming out with some new lip glosses that are lip creams. <laughs> My bad. Six new shades and look at this cute packaging. And I love this promo picture. It is like a nice tropical drink and I suddenly feel like having a cocktail for lunch. Look at this. Six shades, super beautiful. Look at that beautiful like brown at the end and that like coral orange in the middle. I think that these look super cute. I love that they took a bit of a leap with the packaging. I don't know if this is gonna be a hit or not, but I mean, their lip glosses are still best sellers in a <laughs> bunch of parts of the world. We know that since investigating it a bit. So I don't hate, I don't hate this release. Just wanted to let you know because I feel like Buxom is a brand that we just never talk about. We did talk about the Melt Mary Jane collection uh, last week. They did already have the pre-sale. They usually have a pre-sale like a week or two before their launch um, just to sell some PR packages. Those sold out apparently really fast. But And then they already released. I really thought that they were going to release on 420, but Melt just... Mel just went against their own principles and this is already available I think as I am filming this and it's also going to be available at Sephora. I will link it down below because I've heard the listing is already up. Usually Melt comes to Beauty Bay as well but the last couple of releases have actually taken quite some time. I was kind of hoping that they would be faster than this but it seems like they're not. Seems to be not their thing lately. But if this shows up, listen, I love Melt, I really do. I still haven't used the Blueprint palette. I know, ring the shame bell, like really, ring the shame bell, I know, I'm aware. But that doesn't mean that I don't, like Melt, I buy for myself. I don't necessarily buy it to review it on YouTube. Um, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't but I'm still aiming to do a ranking my Melt palettes because I have quite a few. I'm just still sad that I haven't been able to get hold of the Gemini palette. It never restocked on Beauty Bay. Maybe it will now together with... I don't know. We'll see. I've heard that it's discontinued. If it doesn't restock with this palette and I buy this palette, I'll just... If you're still interested in seeing me rank the Melt palettes because I have quite a few except some of the really neutral ones. But maybe I'll get this one because I kind of like... I kind of like cool tones, even though I I like smoky tones. And this is a smoky cool tone palette, so maybe it can be for me. I will be honest, had another brand released this, no. But I really do love Melt. I do. When they get their formula right, it is one of the best formulas. Although, sometimes they don't. But then I can be the person to let you know. Don't get this one. <laughs> There's only one small Colourpop thing to talk about and that means that probably when you're seeing this video Colourpop has already announced something new that I didn't have the opportunity to talk about but 
We'll talk about that next week, I guess. But they have announced that they're releasing Feather Effect Styling Wax, clear ones, and at least one colored one. I don't know if this is... It says first look, so it hasn't been... It hasn't been announced or released yet, but my guess, usually when Colourpop sends out PR, usually things are being released within days, so this will probably launch really soon. If I get some more info while I'm editing this, I will put it in the description box. I feel like this was only a matter of time until like Colourpop was going to do their own version of a brow wax, because in, in, in like a pot or a cake brow wax thing because I feel like so many brands have done it it's been a pretty hyped product lately and I feel like it was who I feel like it was only a matter of time until Colourpop did it themselves I'm surprised that Colourpop didn't do something with the soap brow trend like a mini soap like I'm so surprised that they didn't do that I have no idea why but it feels like something that they would I'm surprised because they usually hop on Everything that's even close to being a trend, Colourpop's over there waving their like new release flag because they just want to be a part of everything. <laughs> they want to be a part of everything. We talked about the new BH Cosmetics April palette for like the birthstone things. Um, most people were not that impressed. I wasn't either, but I still bought it. I haven't received it yet, but I'll make a video on it as soon as I have it. But I thought a bunch of you would probably be excited about this because they have released a birthstone brush vault. It is 12 different brushes. These are vegan face and eye brushes with a luxe resin handle. And each of the handles is for the birthstone. I love this. I love this to go together with the palettes that they have. This is genius. And I also really love that they released it in the middle of the year like this. I hope they keep it for the rest of the year. I think these are so pretty. And you have asked me what I think about BH Cosmetics brushes, and I've never picked any up. But I'll be honest, if this is in stock, which it probably won't be, but if this is in stock when the May palette comes, I'll buy this set. It's $28. I mean, this is great. And it says that it's going to be BH Cosmetics exclusive. I will link it down below. But yeah, I... I, yeah. I'm intrigued. Uh, I, I, I want to get that. So if I have the opportunity, I will. This is, oh, I want to try Tower 28 so bad. I have the gloss on today. I did get a one-time PR package from them. I really, you have told me that you can buy from Revolve and apparently Revolve also does taxes. Like you pay taxes before so you don't have to get taxes when it comes to your country, which saves you a lot of money. So I am, that makes me super intrigued. So I kind of want to do a Tower 28 purchase and buy from revolve i really want to try one of the bronzes i really want to try one of the blushes and i really want to try the spray but now it has three more bronzers and i think that that is so great they had two to begin with and i mean tower 28 is a super small brand it is good that when they had a product that was so well loved that they expand on the range i love when brands do that i understand that some brands need to start small or that you like want to start somewhere and expand and i love that they expanded in both directions both lighter and darker and then also a color in the middle so yeah these are available i think so i will link them down below speaking of face products i saw from makeup geek that they have launched a new bronze luster in chestnut which is a darker bronze color these face powders from makeup geek are so nice i'm kind of thinking i want to order some myself because now they come in those beautiful little new compacts i just i'm kind of intrigued i still have two of their highlighters i don't know if the highlighters are back like their highlighter in psychedelic i don't know if that's still available but if you can get the makeup geek highlighter in psychedelic it is so good it's such a beautiful peachy highlighter oh it's so pretty so this reminded me that i kind of need to go and check that out because i want to try one of the bronzers from makeup geek i had one of the ones the old contours in the round pan but i kind of want to try the bronzer like have you tried the bronzer from Makeup Geek? Like, is it any good? Let me know. Hourglass has joined the cream blush gang. I feel like cream blushes is, it's so big. Like everyone is doing cream blushes and now Hourglass is doing it in the same packaging as they had. Did they have highlighters in this packaging as well? I have a brief memory of that existing. Maybe it's already like, maybe it's still there. And then they have the, uh, the, the cream foundation is in this stick as well. It seems like they are gonna have six shades and two of them are very dark. 
that makes me happy. It's a bright red and then a more brownish, like slightly burgundy shade. And then there are four more lighter ones. One is a bright pink. None of these shades really draw me in. They're very red pinky leaning and I like something that's more on the warmer orange leaning or more brown. So I don't think that this is gonna be for me. I'm still in a bit of a break from Hourglass. I wanna see them try a little bit harder. I never, I never like, oh, I'm never buying from that brand again, but sometimes I like to take a little break just to see how things evolve. And I feel like I'm still in a little bit of a, a little bit of a break from Hourglass. This is uh, gonna be available April 6th which has already happened, so I will link it down below. Sigma has something new coming, and this is me guessing. This is coming on the 20th of April, and I think that this is them releasing a blush palette. I'm just, this is me guessing, because what are you, uh, am I putting the video in? Maybe I'll put the video in, but what I see here, I think, that this is gonna be, this is me guessing. I think this is gonna be blushes. I don't know if it's coming in PR to me or not, but I kind of think that this is gonna be blushes just based on what I see here. Like Sigma's blushes are really good. I've had a bunch of Sigma blushes in my life. They are really, really nice. And they make this shimmer cheek formula so nice. So I'm intrigued to see what this is. From what I see here, it seems to be a little bit more pinky leaning, which is not 100% what I'm looking for, but We'll see what this is. I do get some PR, like I said, from Sigma. I don't know if I'm getting this or not, but I think it's interesting to see them expand more into more products and not only eyeshadow palettes because their eyeshadow palettes have been pretty raved lately. A lot of people have discovered that the new formula from Sigma is actually really good. Not like good, but like good, good. So I feel like it's really interesting that and exciting that they are launching more things as well. I feel like more and more people are discovering that Sigma is more than brushes and I'm really happy for Sigma. I feel like it's the, it's time for Sigma to really shine. Okay, I have some products from Too Faced. These are available at Ulta now. These are lip injection, lip injection power plumping cream liquid lipstick. Uh, I hate stinging lip gloss and stinging lip products, so this is definitely not for me. I would never ever buy anything like this. If you love a lip product that stings, maybe this is for you. Maximum Coverage Demi, Demi Matte Cream Formula Plumping vo Volumizing. So it seems to be a cream lipstick that doesn't dry down, that has a tingling sensation. Sounds like a nightmare to me you decide. They're also coming up, uh, this is coming soon, this is the Hangover Pillow Balm, it seems to be a liquid balm. This seems to be like a liquid formula, right? With a hint of tint. Oh, banana, chocolate, mango, and watermelon. And they're restocking the original, whatever that is. I don't even remember this, but I'm guessing this is a like a liquid balmy, like it goes on like a lip gloss, but it's more like a balmy texture and now it's coming in different colors and scents. This is just me guessing a bit, but they're coming soon. I'm not the biggest fan of Too Faced. I'm not like super against Too Faced, but it's just never been one of those brands that I've been like, oh yes, Too Faced is coming out with something new. I don't feel like I've ever felt that, and I don't think I'm gonna start now, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on that one. Let's talk about two things from Makeup Revolution. Going through and seeing. Two things from Makeup Revolution. This, I think, looks really cute. These are the Makeup Revolution Revolution Glow Splendor Highlighters. These look super cute and it goes from very icy light to really dark and bronzy. And it seems like they have two darker bronzy ones. I'm guessing one is more warm toned and one is more cool toned. Love this shade range. The shade range is beautiful. The packaging is stunning. The pan is beautiful. This is what happens when Makeup Revolution does something right. Then you get this and it's beautiful. They are large highlighters used on your face and body, $12 each. So pretty, so pretty. I wish they would always like put more effort into the launches and just launch fewer, but nicer things like that. Because then they come up with this. This is like some kind of a nude nightmare. <sighs> These small palettes, I don't hate them. They're cute. They're like Huda Beauty, but Makeup Revolution. They're probably trying to do Huda Beauty, but who cares at this point? I feel like every band is trying to dupe each other. As long as they're not shade by shade dupe and like even duping the name of it or like saying this is a dupe off, I don't mind when drugstore brands are being inspired by more expensive brands because that's what people want. 
What I don't like is when it's like a blatant copy, like shade by shade and even names and everything. Packaging, all of it, that I don't like. Inspired by? Personally, I have nothing against it. You make up your own mind because I feel like it's so important that we like decide for ourselves what we think is okay or not. But this big one. There are so many dupes in that big palette. There are so many dupes that are so similar in that big palette that you don't, you don't need that. It is literally a big, big bulky nightmare of nudes. Like, you don't get to tell me that that didn't need to be edited a bit. Edit yourself. And this is the thing, clunky plastic packaging, it looks cheap, it is cheap. I mean, how good can the eyeshadow formula really be when you have 178, not really, but shadows that all look so... You don't need this many browns. Nobody needs this many browns. This is like the budget version of the Orgy palette without the naked people on, on the front. I mean, I guess that's a plus, but why, why, no. Even if you love browns, I don't think anyone needs this kind of a palette. If you're gonna buy this many shades, at least make it a palette that has more options than this. This is just a bunch of beiges and a dark brown. And nobody really needs that many beiges in their life. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. What do I know? I have no idea. I don't use that many beiges. Let me know. Is this something that you're looking at and you're like, Bitch, I can get on board with that. Like, I want that. Maybe I'm wrong. I will link it down below. Maybe, maybe that is exactly what you're looking for and you're like, hey, I would love that in my collection. Personally, I think it looks like a nightmare. My battery is about to die. <sighs> I'm gonna go walk the dog and cry all of this. <laughs> yeah, the great outdoors. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having the most amazing Friday and the most amazing weekend. I will see you again Monday. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again next week for five new videos. Bye.